Sing with all the saints in glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow works dark story to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness we awaken, knowing everlasting peace. Oh, what glory far exceeding all that I has yet perceived. Holiest hearts for ages pleading, never that full joy conceived. God has promised, Christ prepares it, there on high our welcome waits. Every humble spirit shares it, Christ has passed the eternal gates. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on this Saturday. Saturday today we celebrate the feast of St. Teresa of Jesus, or St. Teresa of Avila, both a doctor of the church, someone whose writings and teachings are worth our study. As we gather here today, realizing that her great gift was the reform of the Carmelite order, the great gift of her writings about the interior life that all of us need to seek to be one with Jesus, we rejoice in this perfect example of God's love. Even through her struggles, Jesus was with her, and she remains a model and a doctor for us to follow. Let us pray. O God, who through your Spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the Church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who are the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we await for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. New hope that sees for itself is not hope. But for who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I love you.
love, says the Lord, whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, that does, he prunes so that it will bear more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and you become my disciples. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I always loved this image of the vine and the branches. You know, there's something about when Jesus uses an example that all of us could see and that we can understand. You know, many times if you've had that opportunity to go to a winery, not only where they make wines, but you go see where the grapes are grown. And you'll be able to see that there is this vine you know, this vine, this almost huge trunk. And from that sprouts those branches on which the grapes grow. But in order for those grapes to grow and bear fruit, they must be attached to that vine. Because that vine is that whole system of nutrition. It's where the branches are fed. It's where the waste products are cleaned away. And it is the lifeline of the grapes. And if it's not connected, they wither and die. And Jesus reminds us that he is the vine. And we are the branches. We are connected to him. And we cannot bear fruit unless we remain on the vine. And that is what is so important. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Think about those words. Without me you can do nothing. You know, in our world, so many people think that they can do without Jesus. They can do without Jesus in their lives. But you know, what happens to them? When they're not connected to the vine, or <coughs> they find themselves empty. They find themselves not fulfilled because they're not connected to the life source. Yes, they could survive a while being away, but eventually they're going to wither up and die. Their souls may die too. What does Jesus say? Because without me, you can do nothing. And the sooner that we realize that, the better off we are in our lives here on earth. By remaining with Jesus, Jesus tells us, by this the Father is glorified, that you bear fruit and you become his disciples. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Teresa of Jesus, more commonly known to us as St. Teresa of Avila. She was born in Spain in 1515, and she entered the Carmelite order. And as she entered the Carmelite order, she had this desire for holiness. She had this desire for perfection, and she was blessed to have mystical revelation. 
she began then to undertake a reform of the Carmelite community, to go back to those original principles of poverty, chastity, and obedience. But as you know, when you try to do reform, lots of people don't like it. And lots of people gave her persecution, not only within the convent, but outside of the convent. Some of those who benefited from the sisters and benefited from being able to provide lots of donations for them in return for spiritual favors. But that never stopped her. She reformed the Carmelite order, the women Carmelite order, the religious sisters, and along with St. John of the Cross, he reformed the priests and the brothers of the Carmelites. They both endured very darkness, but they persevered. They persevered because they were attached to the vine. And so today, some of her writings are very difficult to understand, but the church calls her a doctor of the church because her way to perfection, the interior castle, is a way worth reading. I'll tell you, it may take a long time to understand, but she remains a teacher for us. That's why we call her a doctor. For we are guided by the Spirit. Let us bring the needs of our community and the needs of the world to our Father. For the Church, may the Spirit's promptings be her guide in witnessing to the gospel message throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may God inspire their work in ways to protect the weakest and the most vulnerable in society, especially the unborn and the elderly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those in our world who seek employment. May God open doors of opportunity that leads them to fulfilling work, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who despair, May the Lord shower them with comfort and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, may they be healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may our Heavenly Father bring them to eternal peace and glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs, your intentions, that we bring to our Father today in the very silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now take all of these prayers. We lift them up into one, praying just as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of glory, hear our humble prayers and grant all that is good. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Life eternal, heaven rejoices, Jesus lives who once was dead. Shout with joy, O oh, deathless voices, child of God, lift up your head. Patriarchs from distant ages, saints all longing for their heaven. Prophets, psalmists, seers, and sages, all await the glory given. 
Life eternal, oh, what wonders! Crowd on faith, what joy unknown! When amid earth's closing thunders, saints shall stand before your throne. Oh, to enter that bright portal, see that glowing firmament. Know with you, O oh God immortal, Jesus Christ, whom you have sent.